Hey guys, how's it going? So, 8th in the J2 League with Sanuki. Going by my journeyman challenge, this means that I'm afraid that for not having won a trophy after my bonus season with Sanuki after getting promotion, it kind of means... I will leave the club at the end of the season. I have to resign. So yeah, that's done. <laughs> I am no longer employed. Now I need to seek for a job. So now the idea is what I'm going to do is uh, we're in the middle of November. I am going to essentially go on holiday whilst applying for every managerial job that comes up. And the idea is that I'd like to find a job that's higher than the J2 league, regardless of the continent that, that the team is in. So we'll be back when I found the team. Right. So about four months have passed. I did receive job offers from several clubs, including Peter from the J2 League, Kenny Bond from the Welsh Premier League, uh, Fukushima and Imabari from the J3 League, as well as uh, from the J1 League, Yamagata and Kanazawa. I did also receive a interview with uh, Livingston in the Scottish uh, Premier League. And I did, I have to admit that I do want to go to, the, to England. So I thought I'm going to risk and decline the interview with Livingston. Hopefully I won't regret it. And now I have received a job offer, or sorry, job interview with um, none other than Huddersfield in the championship. I mean, they're currently 23rd in the championship. Three star reputation. Check how the league is going. Still have a couple of games left, but it's not looking great. I mean, 24th, wait one second. So 24th is this, uh, 46 games. So no, in theory, I mean, they could try and survive. If I got the job, I mean, oof, what a mission it would be to try and stay in the championship. I mean, that would be my immediate job, survive. <laughs> That'll be a tough one, but hopefully they can't expect me to my, my job will not depend on me surviving that uh, relegation, right? So, following the application, the board have invited you to attend to an interview. So let's have a look. Let's see what they say. The board are pleased that you have taken the time to attend the day. The few questions I'd like to ask to see if you're the manager we want to take the club forward. Can you ease our concerns that you have never previously managed in this country? Let's see. I'm going to ask them for a chance. Okay, so I've always been keen to manage in this country, but until now, I've never had the, the chance. I hope you'll give me the chance. You have so far only managed one team throughout your career, that is true. Is this a good or a bad thing in your opinion? Hmm. I would like to think that I've shown tremendous loyalty during my career and will consider that amongst the most positive traits to have as a manager. Can you ease our concerns about being a pretty big about this being a pretty big step up for you? I'm gonna again, my the tone of my interview is going to be more like, you know, asking them for the chance. I'm asking you to gamble on me, it'll be the best decision you'll ever make. Now the question is here, what makes you the ideal candidate to save a club unexpectedly struggling against relegation having been clear of trouble early in the season? I like to consider myself a strong motivator and leader when times are hard it's important to keep spirits as high as possible, that is true. I also like the reply here that says, I know it takes passion, determination and a fighting spirit to stay up, that's me in a nutshell. I'm going to say, I know it takes passion, determination, and a fighting spirit to stay up. That's me in a nutshell. I'm going to go with that. Now, the last question is, would you be able to st start straight away or at a later date? To be honest, I've been off for three months in-game. I'm ready to get the job as soon as they need me. Oh, I see. Look, we aren't in a position to set any expectations for you to meet for the current season. Expectations and budgets will be laid out in the run-up to next season if you're appointed. That's fine, what's next? Is there anything you'd like to ask for ahead of potentially getting the job? I have to ask this because, you know, I would like to do my courses. <laughs> so I would like to, I would like them to allow me to continue my development by taking a course. They believe I am sufficiently qualified to manage the club. Okay, so that's fair enough. I love it. And I think that's it. So I'm good, thanks. Beautiful. Leave the meeting. And let's see what's next. Yep. Ooh, okay. Following your recent interview with Huddersfield, I invite you to suggest any changes you'd like to make to Huddersfield backroom staff setup. 
You will enjoy the freedom of altering the contracts or dispensing with the services of any staff. Staff at Huddersfield have already provided information on the roles and duties they are prepared to carry out and upon your acceptance of the job, will begin transitioning immediately. I'm gonna leave everything as is. Perfect. We'll confirm that as is. And let's see what happens. Hopefully it's a quick reply. Right, so... We have uh, been approached by Huddersfield. They're giving me... Wow, look about an upgrade. I used to get about £900 a week. £800 a week. Now I'm going to be getting £8,250 a week. And I've been given a £4.3 million transfer budget. Considering I used to have about 300000 in my transfer budget at Sanuki. And my wage budget used to be about 50 k Now I'm getting 275000 a week. Ooh, yes. Let's go. So I get a two-year contract, which is perfect. Because that's... Uh, you know, part of the journeyman challenge is that I have to win a trophy within two seasons. So we will finalize the deal. Yes. Brilliant. And I go forward one more day. And Huddersfield Town hire Rob Ramirez. Let's go. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of 38-year-old who has recently spent time away from club football and he is sure to face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at the John Smith Stadium. Ramirez, who famously knocked out Gambosaka out of the League Cup in 2024, glad they remembered, will no doubt be hoping to provide similarly, similarly memorable moments in stepping up to a bigger club. He replaces the previous manager, Simon Grace. Salvatore Bocchetti was considered to be the favorite for the job, but it is unclear whether the club famed Ramirez all along. Huddersfield have now suffered four straight league defeats and the relegation candidates find themselves in 23rd place in the Skybet Championship. Okay, so let's have a look at the championship. So currently, you guys can't see it very well, but we are 23rd with 29 points. I am 10 points away from safety and we have nine games left. And that's going to be quite the fight. We'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend a bit of time. I'm going to look at the club, look at the players, I'm going to look at the formations. And I will give you guys a little, you know, summary of everything I found, everything I've looked at, what I look to change. So, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>